Jefferson Davis is one of those folks that has an historic past, born in Fairview, Kentucky, about 175 miles and one year later than Abraham Lincoln. He rose again according to the educational processes of America. He had the opportunities to attend high school and colleges, including Transylvania. After that, he went to West Point and graduated in 1828 and served under Zachary Taylor in the Black Hawk Wars for almost seven years in the United States military. At the end of that, he married Zachary Taylor's youngest daughter, Sarah Knox Taylor, who unfortunately three months later on their honeymoon through the lower part of Mississippi would contact malaria with Jefferson and pass away. Davis would then retract back to Mississippi into Davis Bend, living with his brother in Hurricane and then Briarfield outside of Vicksburg. In 1845, he would marry Verena Hall in Natchez, Mississippi. In 1846, he's elected to the United States House of Representatives. 1847, he resigned and formed the Mississippi Rifles and led them in the war, under again, Zachary Taylor. He'd become a hero at Buena Vista. He was wounded in the heel, but did not leave his horse until the war was over. He actually was responsible for the V formation that is still taught today in reference to tactics in the United States Army. He would return to the Senate and then resign and become an, a governor candidate in Mississippi, which he would lose that election. 1852 brings the appointment of the Secretary of War under Franklin Pierce. As Secretary of War, Jefferson Davis's greatest impact on America was two great accomplishments. The capital of the United States, the two wings, the dome, and the Statue of Freedom, the Statue of Freedom being wholly approved by Jefferson Davis. And also the five routes for the Transcontinental Railway were also surveyed under his tenure at Secretary of War. In 1861, he would resign from the Senate, become a citizen of Mississippi, and on February the 12th, he would receive the telegram which elected him the provisional president of the Confederate States of America. And that November, he would be elected. He served four years, moving from Montgomery to Richmond, and then the flight from Richmond came with a large 38 days within the middle of the Lincoln assassination. He would travel to Danville, Greensboro, Charlotte, Abbeville, South Carolina, Washington, and finally captured in Irwinville with his family, which he had just met up with the day before. He would end up in Fortress Monroe for two years of imprisonment. Finally, in 1869, he's freed on bond. He would then move to Memphis, Tennessee. He lived there from 1870 to 78. In 1878, he would move to Biloxi, Mississippi, which he would ultimately own the estate of Beauvoir, his last home. His family would be with him. His only daughter who got married, Margaret Davis Hayes, would move to Colorado Springs in 1885. Davis died in 1889 in New Orleans. He was originally interred in Metairie Cemetery and was moved to Hollywood Cemetery in 1891. His family is all buried there. His daughter and all of his relatives are buried at Hollywood Cemetery.